Yes, my people, I don't come again with another hot new update. Well, I know say for some time now, some of my viewers here, my subscribers, my followers, they'll kind of while well, Roman PK, they always they like to they put Apostle Dr. Cassie update for my YouTube channel. At least all of them I know this man they see for my screen, so no now the lion killer himself, <laughs> my people. When I know say this man for some time and this man they kind of they let everybody, the whole Nigeria they know say. We could not see what they happen for inside Nigeria churches. Some people say the man a blogger, he don't turn bloggers. Some people say this man they look for popularity. Some people say they look for followers. If they look for, for members, you understand? Of which the thing they read they, they touch me. Whether some people not they read, they see what they happen. For some Nigeria churches, not all anyway. For some out of hundred, me and you know say, what is this apostle Cassie they talk about? 80. They happen for inside Nigeria churches. You understand? The reason why they read this news is that now because of this video, when I want to play for now, so make it not be like I say I to talk, I to waste on that. Because this one, a video, and be like I say, man, when I need to watch on. I not just watch this video alone. Make sure say you share them to all your social media platform. In case you come across this video for my YouTube channel, Urom Picking World News, help me share them out, not just watch them alone. Or for my Facebook page, Urom Picking World News, help me share them out, not just watch them alone. So, guys, I go see you now for the next update coming out soon. Respect to my love, guys. I went to the church to preach. I purposely decide not to prophesy to anybody. What I mean, I purposely decide not to prophesy. I mean, I, I didn't go. I didn't go there and see anybody and say, "Come, beyond this year will be better than next year." I just only share the word of God, and I believe they will be blessed. Now, why did I say this? You see, sometimes when we talk, some people feel that we are we maybe it's jealousy. Some people just be like, "You are jealous." That's why you are talking like that. Hey, it's tomorrow they will say tomorrow they will they, they will they will start thinking the person troubling them is is one uh, this thing. Let me can leave them. Now. So my people, I decided. I, I just went there. I preached, and the first day I preached, it was a word of God. I preached. In fact, I knew that God is faithful. I knew. I knew that God is faithful. Knew. I knew that I preached the word of God. God, and the people we are blessed. We are blessed. Now, what do we see in today's church? What do we see? If some pastor believe if you don't prophesy, you are not a man of God. If you don't, if you don't perform miracle, you are not man of God. If you, if you don't perform miracle, you are not a man of God. Now, that is where you now see people start stage managing miracles. You see, there are some of you watching me right now. You know very well you know very well that this is stage management you know so I, I'm so ashamed you see in those days when you when you watch when you watch someone preaching in the church or you, you are watching a pastor preaching you watch a pastor preaching in a church and while the pastor preach you see people feeling the presence of god in that ministration you see people keep saying wow glory be to god you see even when we see miracles when we are growing up in ministry when we see miracles performed by our fathers there are way miracles are performed but today you see a pastor coming out you know what they do a pastor a man of god the man of god already know how many people will walk in the crusade he said today 20 people will walk as if you are god they'll say today oh what we happen here fire will fall thunder will fall bristol will fall you see in fact <laughs> 
I've just tried to construct <laughs> some words I'm going to use so that it will not look like. Now, have you not seen you watch certain miracles, prophecy by some of these talent type that come to set a pastor? You will know that this is RNG, this thing is RNG. You will know fully well. You see. I just pray that Nigeria you don't wake up one day and burn and start burning down church because of what is happening. Now you will you will display a miracle where you pray for a cripple, the cripple now walk, four cripple now walk, and you you, you display a miracle where uh, uh, somebody with uh, five broad got healed. I, I'm not saying God does not heal five broad. Please don't misunderstand me. I'm not that thing that God cannot perform miracle i'm not that thing god cannot do healing no please please but do you know when you see these people displaying it on tv or displaying it on facebook you will know that this prophecy they are showing is to is to make people come to their church to make people feel they are powerful to make people feel they have anointing to make people feel like uh, people to feel that they they, they have anointing and they don't have anointing. What anointing they don't have? That is where you see some ignorant. I'll call them ignorant moose. Start calling them man of God. I have problem. I have this. The same people who God used to perform miracle free of charge in their church. When you not call them, they will not be asking you to so seat. Yeah, is that, is that is that not what that is what is happening? They say before you can get your own healing. But the person they were displaying on Facebook that received his own healing, the person they prophesied to, they did not tell they did not tell the person to bring money before they start to. But now it don't reach your turn. You must pay. Nigeria, wake up, be wise. We are not saying this for members to come to our church. I thank God I have members. I'm not saying this because I don't prophesy. My members that know me know I'm a prophet. And they know that if I want to prophesy, I prophesy. I know that it is God that is speaking through me. I don't have a, a prophetic service. You know what I people say? Today is my prophetic service. Every day is my prophetic service. Every day. If God showed me, I talk. If he didn't show me, I preach, I close my Bible and go home. The problem we are having is the fruit in the church is too much you just see a small boy a small boy we didn't know we don't know who ordained him a small boy is he, prophesying already he's calling phone number calling him calling on the old children name hey, this and people are started walking lay walk blind walk blah 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 at the end the whole thing is a fraud and we have fathers, fathers who are supposed to, to cross check these people. There are so many people who are displaying miracles on Facebook and I don't know any TV. If that if the if it will be verified, <laughs> they will close their church. You will, you will be surprised. The, you just see a pastor we just carry 20 and reji inside church. Ah! God no day again. See, I went to one church, my brother. Not the small thing I see. Oh, there was a church I went to. <laughs> I saw 20 people in the wheelchair. 20 people. As I felt Waka pass inside the church, I see ah, 20 people. They are 20. Hey, I could have pity for the pastor. Say, hey, who, who go carry people? Come give this pastor. Who go carry? Hey, hey. Then he come, come out to Mumu. I come preach job. Sha, sha. I'm not saying they, they do me. Mumu. Ask me the prayer. <laughs> then they say, no, but you will want it. We need action. We need power. Call the present father. Oh, these people. God, father, use him. I can even say now one. My greatest surprise almost all <laughs> the <laughs> almost all the cripple worker. Ah, as I see all the cripple, I say no God, no. <laughs> Now, so told the shot. Hey. 
when we say truth, some people cannot stand the truth. Like this man called uh, this uh, Landidi Yusuf. Except if he's talking to someone else. <laughs> you know. <laughs>